Welcome once again to United, a production of Food for the Poor. This phenomenon called prayer, what is it? How powerful is it and how necessary is it for uh, those who do the work that we do? So glad to have Michael Chin Kui. He is the Director of Operations for Food for the Poor's Church Alliances. Michael, in one sentence, how would you define prayer? You know, Chris, um, I would just say, simply put, prayer is communication with God. That, that's probably an oversimplification. But here is the rest of that statement. It's not just a communication with God. It's a communication with God, knowing that this person that you have communication with is the Almighty God, the creator of everything that have ever been created and will be, be in existence. Mm. That's who we're praying to. And that changes it. That makes everything different. So yes, prayer is communication with him and it's who the him is. We hear the, the saying about prayer changing everything, but do I hear you telling me it's the attitude of prayer that changes everything? Oh, no, I'm not even saying that. I'm saying what changes everything is God. <laughs> the, the, the prayer, prayer. We, can, we say prayer changes things, and I think we understand when we, we're talking amongst each other and we say that, we know what we mean. But at the end of the day, it's God that changes everything, and we pray to him. Now, our attitude when we pray to him, knowing who he is, it can change our attitude as well. But at the end of the day, he's the one that's doing all the changing. In your leadership of a major portion of what we call the prayer culture of Food for the Poor, how have you seen the power of prayer in building trust and connections with those who equip us to serve the poor? Chris, I would have to say, um, I have to start with, with the fact that I believe that the work that we do at Food for the Poor it cannot be done without prayer. And I know that may sound a little cliche but the work that God has called us to do is an incredible, huge, but difficult work. And we can't do it without prayer. When I came to Food for the Poor 15 years ago, it's one of the things that I saw that was very active in Food for the Poor, prayer. And, uh, and I've just come alongside what was already happening and I've continued to fan that flame. But it is prayer that causes us to engage God and to engage others in the work that he has called us to do. And then he answers the prayers for us. Mm. We're having a conversation with the Michael Chin Kui, the Director of Operations for Church Alliances at Food for the Poor. We're going to get into that a little bit more and, and, and how prayer is so important with that. But what we want to encourage you with is that this is something real that Food for the Poor believes in. If you want to find out how deep this goes and how wide it goes in the work of Food for the Poor, uh, it is work in over 17 countries in Latin America and the Caribbean uh, for almost 40 years. You can go to our website at foodforthepoor.org. That's foodforthepoor.org's. And uh, we, we want you to know that we are developing uh, a lot more great content, the stories of what we do, things that will just astound you. So make sure that you like, subscribe, and share on our YouTube channel right here. Make sure you hit that little bell there so you'll get all the notifications so you'll be uh a prize, a prize, a prize, I forget the word. A prize of the new content that's coming up. Uh, but in our final um, moments of this segment, because we've got to have you back, your department is church alliances. And in building alliances within the church across denominational lines, what is or what should be the common denominator of, of prayer in effectively engaging in the work that we're doing? So, it's not so much that there is a common denominator, but the common denominator is prayer. Doesn't matter, we, we have different denominations and we come together as one to, to make this work. And we can do a lot more together than we can apart, right? Amen. But what binds us together is prayer. That is what really binds us together. And 
our differences at that point tend not to be emphasized, right? No, having said that, if there was a common denominator, I would say it would be praying for wisdom. Mm -hmm. Because we, we see in the Bible that when God gives wisdom, you're able to do so much. We, we, we look at Solomon, and Solomon didn't know how to proceed in taking care of God's people. And what did Sol Solomon do? He asked God for wisdom so he could take care of God's people. And God said to him, because you didn't ask me for riches and for power and for fame, I'm going to give you wisdom and I'm going to give you more wisdom than I've ever given anybody or will give anybody else. And God gave him wisdom that allowed him to do all that he did. Well, we can, God tells us we should ask for wisdom. Book of Proverbs teaches us about asking for wisdom. And so if there is a common thing that we all should pray for, I would say it's wisdom. Amen. But it starts with prayer. All right. Well, you know what? We're gonna we we gotta come back because you 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 open up a, a, a treasure chest there of of what we can learn by having that conversation with God. We're gonna be back with Michael Chen Kui, the uh Director of Operations for Church Alliances for Food for the Poor. And in the meantime, again, go to our website, foodforthepoor.org. Great resources and and also a way for us to get involved in your life. We're going to talk more about our, our web prayer ministry next time. But foodforthepoor.org, subscribe and like and share our YouTube page for more content so everyone knows the great work you know about. I'm Chris Wallace. We'll see you soon. United is a production of Food for the Poor. United in God's work. 